One of the defining features of the Palestinian landscape is a wall that runs into kilometers covered with graffiti and called by different names by different people there. But the Israelis call it a security wall. The Palestinians say that it is the wall of apartheid, blocking their access to their olive orchards, highways and places of work. The Vion's Daniel Pagani is presently in Bethlehem and he sent us this report. The city of Bethlehem inside of the West Bank is the holiest city for Christianity. And it is here, within this city, that the dividing wall, the wall which divides Palestine and Israel, runs along. On this wall, you can see the history of Palestine. You can see a big picture, a big painting of Leila Khaled, one of the symbols of the struggle of the resistance for the independence of Palestine. But there is also space for someone who is, as of now, Definitely not a friend of the Palestinians. We have President Donald Trump of the United States. Remember that recently the United States decided to move their embassy from Tel Aviv to the contested holy city of Jerusalem. These strengthen the claims of Israeli who thinks that Jerusalem is only their capital city. Obviously, Palestinians do share a very different opinion. And again, this wall, once again, is a story of divided interpretation of history. On this side of the wall where we are, in Palestinian territories, they call it the wall of apartheid, but on the other side of the border in Israel, they call it a security, a necessary security measure to protect their citizens and their existence. And it is in this land, in this divided land, where conflicting narratives still coexist, that the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will need to find a way to keep its relation going in a good way, both with the State of Israel and with the Palestinian Authority. Daniele Pagani and Vijay Sanjay Rohilla from Bethlehem, Palestine, for Vion.